Detroit fan base is going to be surprised on, you know, just the result that they're going to see from Okuda. Because a lot of them, I feel like, has kind of turned their back on them once you, you know, get hurt or you don't play up to their standards that they feel like, you know, the number three pick should play. They kind of wash their hands with you. So, you know, something that I just talked a lot about through the rehab and reminded myself, you know, like, God's not done with me. Cornerback Jeff Okuda's time in Detroit has been a battle. Now entering his third season as a Lion, this is a make it or break it year. So how does he overcome it all? If God could just keep him healthy, I feel like he's gonna handle the rest because he's just that type of person. He's he's one of those guys that's not gonna skip any reps. Like he's gonna make sure he's doing all the reps and some. That's where Oliver Davis comes in. But first, let's rewind. A five-star recruit out of Grand Prairie High in Texas, Okuda begins his Ohio State career in 2017. From nobody, he's big enough to play the big guys, and he's fast enough and quick enough to play the small guys. There's very few holes in his game. Watch me take control. Off a of play action, that pass is intercepted by Jeff Okuda. Talk about one of the top corners, if not the top corner in the entire country. That ball broken up by guess who? Jeff Okuda. He plays all 14 games as a true freshman, then undergoes shoulder surgery in the offseason. The successful sophomore season followed by a dominant junior campaign. He was the first Ohio State cornerback to earn unanimous All-America honors. And in three years, he racks up 88 tackles and 21 passes defended. Okuda deciding to forgo his senior year and declaring for the 2020 NFL Draft. With the third pick, in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Jeff Okuda. And there you see the reaction in Grand Prairie, Texas, where Jeff Okuda is from. The cornerback goes up the He board. wears a bracelet for his mother, Maria Okuda, in her memory and wrote a really heartfelt letter to her after she had passed away, saying all the things that he, she had meant to him and help them along the way. Okuda's mother passing away six days after he arrives on campus in 2017. Now she's still with him as he arrives in Detroit. Toward the end of training camp, he suffers his first injury with the Lions, a hamstring injury, and misses the season opener. But the next week suits up to face the Packers. That's the first NFL game he'd ever been to. In the next nine games, there are ups, his first career interception against the Cardinals, but there are also downs, including allowing completions on 41 of 53 passes over the season. In December, he undergoes groin surgery to fix a lingering injury, missing the final five games of 2020. The 2021 offseason is spent recovering, now it's full steam ahead. Then, tragically, in the very first game against the 49ers, Okuda ruptures his Achilles. His season is over before it had began. I hate it for him first, and I hate it uh, for us as a team because uh, he, he was really, you know, he's really coming around. Okuda spends the rest of the year on the sidelines after only 10 games in two seasons. The negativity begins piling up. But here's where Oliver Davis comes into the picture. Y'all let me know when everybody got two. I say one. Bet. Go. There you go. There you go. Finding him on social media, Okuda reaches out to the defensive back specialist and owner of Sweet Feet Sports Performance. When you first started to talk to him, where was he at in this, this whole recovery process? At first, he was hitting me up like, hey, man, I, I really been watching you. I really been, you know, closely paying attention to what you do. And I feel like I'm going to need my technique sharper than ever. By that, he means Okuda saw his work with top cornerbacks in the league like Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Terrell. After a bumpy rookie campaign, Terrell began working with Davis and turned it around, named an All-Pro last season. Now, Davis is tasked with turning Okuda's journey around. He was good, but he was also down in the sense of like thinking that he may never be the Okuda that we saw coming out of Ohio State. And I was telling him, I was like, no, bro, you're going to be better. So the pair gets to work over Zoom in January, combing through the tape. Stance and start. Sometimes before plays, he wouldn't be set. He would be looking at the quarterback. They snapped the ball. He's trying to get back to, you know, doing what he's supposed to do. Or, you know, sometimes he wouldn't play in a sense of, like, knowing where your help is supposed to be. Like, certain defenses, You, if, I, if I'm a cornerback, I play outside leverage, meaning I have help to the inside. Sometimes he wouldn't trust his teammates. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 
I like that. Whatever we seen on film, I asked him questions like, why'd you do this? Why did you do that? Sometimes he had an answer. Sometimes he didn't. So I'm just trying to get to the point where we always have a reason and a purpose to why we're doing certain things. That covers the physical side of things, but perhaps the much tougher side is the mental side. How do you overcome the negativity both from the outside and inside yourself? He's going to come play with a chip on his shoulder because he does, you know, he's human. So, I mean, he sees the tweets. He sees all the negative talk. So, I mean, I don't, it doesn't break him down, I don't think. But I, I know for sure that he's going to, you know, he's going to make sure he's taking that with him each and every week. Davis says instead of hiding from it, Okuda is attacking the pressure head on. One might call that grit. I told the team last night our identity and who we are and our foundation is all about grit. That means taking it one day at a time, going a little longer, and pushing a little harder, thinking a little deeper. Once you've gone through a great suffering, if you will, as it pertains to sports and Lions football, then, man, that's when there's a great triumph. Do you think that he fits into this this new culture of kind of grit and heart? That's That's really the theme here in Detroit nowadays. Yeah, for sure. For sure. First time I ever trained him, he was going hard. And I'm like, bro, let's be easy on the foot. Like, you know, you just, it's your first time being on the field. But I think it's just what type of person he is. Like, he's a hard worker. He's going to push himself to the limit. So I feel like he fits that mold, honestly. He's texting me and saying, like, things like, man, I feel better than I felt, you know, when I first came into the league. I think he's going to shock a lot of people this year. Inside the five-yard line intended for pickings and defended by Jeff Okuda. The Lions season begins this Sunday against the Eagles at Ford Field. Kelly Rowe, Pride of Detroit.